This is BBC News with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. The UK records more COVID cases in 24 hours than on any previous day in the pandemic. New studies suggest the Omicron variant, although highly infectious, could be milder. The NHS is under huge strain because of the number of staff off sick. In London, more doctors and nurses are absent now than at any time before in this pandemic. Nearly a week after a super typhoon struck the Philippines, the number of the dead is 375. We report from what was a popular tourist island, now devastated. <coughs> the sound of an elephant seal pup. One mother seal rec seals recognised as days after their babies are born. No matter how many other seals there are around, we'll find out why. Hello, warm welcome to the programme wherever you are in the world or in the UK. It's very good to have your company. We begin today with the news that for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic, the UK has recorded more than 100,000 new cases of coronavirus in a single 24 hours. Many people are being forced to self-isolate as a result. On Wednesday, the Health Secretary Sajid Javid announced that the quarantine period for people who are infected in England is being cut from 10 days to 7 with immediate effect. You don't have to quarantine after that as long as you test negative in lateral flow tests conducted on day 6 and day 7, tests which must be taken a minimum of 24 hours apart. It's hoped, though, that this move will give more people the chance to spend time with their families over the Christmas period. It may also help ease the pressure on the economy. Staffing levels are being hit hard in many sectors. Here's our medical editor, Fergus Walsh. 